Hello, in this video, we're going to show how to simulate a set-specific re set recombination and the lambda-right recombination. So here, this is a fragment from E. coli genome. Uh, there's the uh, HK22 ATTB site in between the tau S and tau T gene. And this is the uh, cream plasmid PH70, which has the HK22 ATTP. To integrate the PH70 into the coli genome, we select two nodes, the two nodes, and uh, click recombination. And we select the mode HK22BP recombination and click apply. Then the plasmid is integrated into the genome. So you can see the features in the plasmid goes into the genome here. And uh, to knock out a fragment from the genome, we usually use the lambda right recombination. Uh, PKD3 is one for the lambda right template plasmid. So normally we need to do a PCR, uh, which contains the FRT and the uh, antibiotic resistant gene and also. Uh, the recombination homologous fragment. So we designed a forward primer because it's already the primer bound inside there. And then we designed a reverse primer. So we gave the name KOF, knockout F, and the KOR. So we click a pair, send them to the operation property, and apply. We got the PCR product. but. This one doesn't have the homologous sequence. To add the homologous sequence to the PCR primer, the easy way is to just copy the sequence from the genome sequence. So for example, we copy the 35 from uh, before the kanamycin gene, control C, we copy it, and uh, paste it to KOF. And uh, we also want to copy the fragments, the sequence, uh, after the kanamycin. We want to do 35, you can see here, 35 copy but be careful here you need to do reverse complement to the sequence you copied because uh, this is the reverse primer so we click this one and uh, paste it here and then we apply we got the PCR product for lambda red knockout to double check this we can select those two nodes and uh, click sequence compare we want to use the recombination product as a template so we click this one and uh, zoom in by increasing pixel per kilobase pair so we can see two tiny yellow matches that means the and they are in the same direction that means the PCR product should work. So now we select those two nodes and uh, simulate the lambda right recombination. We select them and uh, click recombination and then use the lambda right recombination mode and uh, click apply. And uh, similarly to the plasmid construction by ligation, you will get some byproducts because the MCDS actually simulates the real recombination process. So you need to do a screen. So we click a screen. We want the one with amcelin resistant gene. This is, uh, sorry, chlorophenical resistant gene. So chlorophenical transferase. So we got two, still got two fragments. So we can see one is 1102, that's the PCR product, and the other one should be the 
genome fragment. Here we can use uh, gel separation to separate them, them by length. So we click 8.8 kilobits per hour. So now you can see the chlorophyllinical resistant gene is in the genome. Then the next step is remove this one from the genome. So normally what we do is FRT recombination. So we perform another recombination and uh, select FRT and apply. And uh, now we want the one without chlorophyllinical. So we do another screening. We want the one without chlorophyllinical. We right click here. So chlorophyllinical transfer is none. Okay. We already got it. So here. This the this is after the FRT recombination. You only have one FR FRT site on the genome. Okay, so that's how MCDS can help you simulate set specific recombination and the lambda red recombination. Uh, and uh, to show the ability to check error for checking error. So for example, if here, this is a right primer. If we, by chance, didn't perform the reverse com complement to the homologous fragment, so I just click the reverse comment and uh, put it back here and apply. And uh, now, in the sequence alignment, you can see the two tiny yellow arrow are facing each other. That means uh, the direction of a homologous fragment is wrong. So now we have, uh, if we simulate the recombination, lambda right recombination and apply, you won't get the right product. So we can do a gel purification to check them one by one. So we have three fragments here. So one is a PCR product, that's not the thing you want. And the other one, still so have the cannabis in the genome, nothing changed. And the third one, uh, is something you don't know. It has two tor S. So that means if you design the wrong PCR product, uh, the lambda rider recombination won't work for you. So MCDS can help you check the errors in your design. Alright, thank you.